in the name of the living Jesus Christ of Nazareth we greet you greetings in the name of the living Jesus Christ of Nazareth amen this message is once again about ambush and it's to all of us ambush is the cure for HIV and AIDS and it's all of us because Isaiah 53 6 says all we like sheep have gone astray we have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord has laid on him him who Jesus the Christ the iniquity of all of us us all today I wish to address an issue it's the issue of HIV vaccine a vaccine is frank for HIV is not possible then again if it were possible to make a vaccine and we made one today how would it help the millions who are infected I am infected with HIV and I'm laying down on the bed now you make a vaccine what good is that to me does it cure me there are 30 million, 40, 50 million people all over the world infected with HIV. Who is counting? Then again, who cares? What we do now is to blame the victim. Oh, he's gay or she's a lesbian. It's the lifestyle. Oh, she's a prostitute. Blame the victim. It's their fault. Now, in John 10, verse 10, Jesus Christ said, The thief is here only to kill, steal, and destroy. And by God, the world has spent billions of dollars or pounds or whatever currency on HIV vaccine research in the last 30 years and today of no avail that my friends is stealing the enemy has stolen that which could have been otherwise used more appropriately now if you were a doctor pharmacy owner drug company then the more hiv patients the more dollars you seem to think that will go into your pocket. Then again, somebody has to make some money. After all, there is nothing wrong with being a capitalist. Everyone likes to see their account in the black. You don't believe me? Check on the black horse of Revelation 6. Verse 5. I uh, would look at if you were a budget administrator, we are, we, are, we are reaching a stage and time now in which the society cannot afford HIV AIDS anymore. If you were a city administrator, budget administrator, government, countries you are hit with the question of who gets what service i looked at some figures and the cbs news some years ago estimated that the cost of a lifetime health care for an hiv positive person is six hundred and eighteen thousand dollars u.s for a mere 24 years existence of life as to the quality we have no idea now that would work out to be $25,800 per year the CDC gave a figure of $24,000 per year we in America have According to the CDC, 1.1 million people affected. 
Now, if you multiply 1.1 million people at the $24,000 per year, we're looking at a whopping $26.4 billion. Now, any politician would welcome this figure on the black, B-L-A-C-K side of their budget. The question is, can society afford this? With no respect and no prospect of getting any return for this kind of investment. After all, you have been paying X amount of dollars to an if for an HIV positive person's medication over the year. What is the remuneration? Will he get back to good health so he is profitable to society? These are questions for the hospital and the political administrators. I once asked the Lord, what about HIV vaccines? That's about three years ago. He said to me, the testing of a vaccine, HIV vaccine, is like fist fighting your enemy for 28 years who has been beating you all along and now you give him a knife. Vaccines are impossible because HIV is not a homogeneous entity. It is not. It was not made by the living God. But every person represents a different strain. So we would need 7 billion vaccines. Then that's not possible either. The reason is HIV attaches to your DNA and there are as many strains of DNA as there are people. In Mark 1, 40 verse 1. A man with leprosy came to Jesus and begged him on his knees saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can, you can, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out, touched the man and said, I am willing, I am willing, I am willing be clean. Now, the same Jesus has sent us ambush. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And his will is to make us clean. So, for HIV, he has given us ambush. Ladies and gentlemen, call your leaders, your religious leaders, your political leaders, Tell them ambush is the cure for AIDS. And I am not here to entice you so that you can email me and say, please squeeze me one so you can be healed and shut up. No, the days of that is over. I need you to go and tell your leaders that there is ambush, the cure for HIV and AIDS. They can contact me, Apostle Shada Mishe, at www.ambushcuresaidsfree.com. I am Apostle Shada Mishe, and I thank you for listening. God bless you. Thank you.